I'm working my way through the API challenges, which you can find at apichallenges.herokuapp.com. And the next one I'm going to solve is get to do's ID, which returns a 404. So I'm going to ask for a to do for an ID that does not exist. And remember, in order to track my challenges, I have to first of all issue a post request to the slash challenger to get a good. And then I use that good in an X challenger header on every request I want to track. So I previously had a request that worked successfully to retrieve a particular to do. So to do's slash and there's item 26. So I'm just going to duplicate that for the moment and I'll put to do ID 404, 404 being the status code for not found. And if I amend this now, so instead of saying get API challenges heroquap.com slash to do's slash 26, I know it starts at 25 because that's what I saw in the to do's list. So I'm going to make this uh, 21 and send this through. I've added in the X challenger for a good, I'm going to track it. So I should see this on the GUI when I finish and item 21 exists. So that's because when I issue this to do's, there's 21. So I didn't notice 21 at the bottom of the list because this is not sorted. Looking at now 21, 22, 23, 24, would be easier if this was sorted, but the API doesn't come back in that way. So if I pick something out of this list, I could pick it really high, 99, I could pick it low, but let's do um, 20. So if I go back to my request for to do ID 404, and let's make it 20, that didn't appear in the list, send that, and I've asked for an item that was not there. We get a status code of 404 not found, and an error message is now in the body. So if I was writing code to process this, it'd be easy for me to process the error messages that are in there. And that's that challenge now solved. So if I look on the GUI, I should see get to do's ID 404 in green because we solved that challenge. If you want to work through the challenges yourself, you can find all the information you need at eviltester.com slash API challenges. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date with any of the videos we release showing API challenges or APIs in general or testing in general. We have a lot of content here. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.